Hello, hello to you out there. This is Ollie here at visordown.com with another video for your viewing pleasure. Today, we're getting into the big short of motorcycle riding with four of the best bikes out there for the taller rider and the best for the more diminutive rider. Yes, the struggle is indeed real. For those who have found the perfect motorcycle, only to find the uncomfortable riding position has you crawling to the masseuse each time you pop out for a pint of milk, or feel like your tendons are about to snap just so you can reach the ground at the traffic lights. We can even relate here at Visor Down, with our test team of Toad still getting ID'd at 5'7", while Alex lives in a different postcode all the way up there at 6'3". Never fear though, motorcycles, like us humans, come in all shapes and sizes with a number of motorcycles out there with features that cater for the loftier or the compact biker. So, big or small, there really is a motorcycle for you. As a general rule of thumb, if you're a bit long or lanky, you're most likely to find comfort on an adventure motorcycle, with riding positions that are more upright and allow more space to stretch your legs. However, if your budget doesn't stretch beyond the 125cc, then your options are rather more limited. And yet, there is one pint-sized adventure motorcycle that fits the bill, with this the Sinus Terrain, available in a choice of 125 and 380cc engines. With its 780mm seat height, chunky fairing and even the option of panniers, the Terrain is ideal for riders just starting out who might be a touch too tall to be scratched over a teeny 125 sports bike. While its modest 12.7 brake horsepower engine means the Terrain won't be cracking rocks or conquering Everest anytime soon, at just £3,399, it's a remarkably cheap way to get out into the wilderness, as long as it remains fairly flat. We're big fans of Honda's slap bang in the middle 500 range. Boasting the CBR500R sports bike, the CB500F Naked, the CMX500 Rebel Cruiser, and this, the Honda CB500X. Though not strictly a full-blown adventure motorcycle, the Honda CB500X with its longer suspension travel can head off-road, plus it is taller and it's more versatile than your average model in this mid-range sector. With its seat height at 830mm, there should be enough room for even the tallest rider to avoid having to do warm-up stretches each time they get on the bike. Better still, as an A2 compliant model with a handy 47 brake horsepower on tap, the CB500X is an ideal choice for both experienced riders seeking a quality urban runaround, or for any noobs wanting something a little more mature. For those seeking a motorcycle with a retro-inspired flavour, you really can't go wrong with Triumph's broad modern classics range. With models like the Bonneville and Speed Twin catching the eye with their nostalgic flair and nods to a bygone era of easy riding, these are motorcycles designed for free-spirited, lazy, languid Sunday rides without a care in the world. But that's no good if your lazy Sunday ride ends with you rushing to get back for the sake of your back. So if you're blessed with longer limbs, then any retro Triumph is actually a good choice. But our favourite is the Scrambler 1200 XE. More off-road orientated than its sister XC variant, the Scrambler XE is 30mm higher and comes with a wider seat. More off-road orientated than the sister XC variant, the Scrambler XE is 30mm higher and comes with a nice wide seat. Plus, it comes equipped with quality suspension, so it's a riot to ride on and off-road. Just ask James Bond, aka Daniel Craig, aka his stunt double anyway. We could have selected a feet forward Honda Goldwing or most Harley Davidsons as the best all round motorcycle for taller riders, but then they're essentially armchairs on wheels. So, if you happen to exist a little closer to the clouds than most, and you want a proper all purpose motorcycle you can stretch your legs on, then the KTM 1290 Super Adventure R is our pick. In terms of off road ability, you really can't go wrong with a KTM with the Behemoth 1290 Super Adventure offering the ideal blend of go anywhere ability and mile munching refinement, all without the risk of mangling your spine. Choose the flagship R for the best seating position, with a great ground clearance demonstrated in the 880mm seat height, so you can get into position to enjoy its 160 brake horsepower V-twin engine, lashings of kit and gizmos, not to mention handling that entertains with its beastly Duke inspired chassis setup. If we've just given you four of the best motorcycles for tall riders, then I guess technically we've also just given you four of the worst motorcycles for short riders. Not to worry though, we're flipping the script here with the four worst motorcycles for tall riders, or better, the four best motorcycles for short riders. Starting with this, the scrappy-doo of bikes, the Honda Grom. Looking like a motorcycle that shrunk in the wash, 
The Grom has all the attitude of a bigger model concentrated into a small, low, easy to ride package. Inspired by the monkey bikes of old, the MSX125, as it is more formally called when it's been naughty, comes with cute 12 inch wheels and dinky proportions, plus all of that standard Honda quality and engineering prowess. With its 761mm seat height, even small riders might feel a touch tucked in. But that's also kind of the point with this bike. And if you happen to be tall, go out on the Grom and you'll have fun feeling like a giant. We chose the adventure oriented Honda CB500X as the best A2 motorcycle for tall riders. So it stands to reason that we make the sister CMX500 Rebel, I'll pick for those on the other side of the tape measure. One of the few cruiser style models available in the sub 500cc segment, the Rebel is the perfect choice for short riders with its low seat setup measured at a height of 690mm. It's not a full on cruiser, but the Rebel is easy to ride and it feels practical. So while it might lack the cool factor of a big beefy Harley, the Honda is certainly a lot less intimidating than the bigger engined, heavier models of its type. Laid back, low seated customs or cruisers will generally be designed closer to the ground, so naturally suit short riders. But which is the best one? Well, while we recommended the Triumph Scrambler 1200 XE for tall riders, it doesn't mean that the British mark has forgotten all about its shorter customers either, as demonstrated by the low slung Bonneville Bobber. With its high performance 1200 engine offering 76 brake horsepower and a bespoke single shock rear end, the result is a low seat height of just 765 millimeters plus all the performance, handling and braking of Triumph's already fine handling bonnies. Just because you're shorter than most, that doesn't mean you should be deprived of a big hulking adventure motorcycle, especially one with the ground clearance you need to get your boots muddy. Some manufacturers have helpfully recognized this. For instance, the big selling BMW R1250 GS Adventure, which is offered with different seat heights. While Triumph has the shorter version of its off-roader, the imaginatively titled Tiger 900 Low. However, we've plumped for the Harley Davidson Pan America 1260 Special, with its nifty adaptive ride height system, which at the press of a button allows you to adjust the seat height from 895mm to just under 800mm. You'll need to fork out £600 for it, but the feature isn't just handy for smaller people, it's excellent for those who might have mobility difficulties getting on or off a motorcycle. So that's the long and short of it. Eight motorcycles to take a look at or avoid altogether if you either experienced a growth spurt as a teenager or spent those years waiting for it to happen. A bit of advice, make sure there is enough adjustment and support so you can ride your motorcycle comfortably and safely. After all, what's the point of riding your dream motorcycle and you spend more time thinking about your aching bones and muscles than enjoying the ride itself? And if you happen to be a tall or short rider out there and you ride a motorcycle that is perfect for you, Give your fellow bikers a recommendation by posting a comment below. And while you're at it, please like and subscribe to the Visor Down YouTube channel. Every thumbs up gets two thumbs up from me, promise. That's it from me. Until we meet again, ciao for now.